What's up YouTube, this is Marcus Blake speaking and I'm here to talk to you about making a self-improvement YouTube channel and some advice that you could take from this video. And I'm not going to waste your time with some fucking intro, I'm going to get straight into it. The main point that I'm going to get across in this 6, 7, 8, 10 minute video is that you will suck in the beginning. Your first 50, your first 100 videos aren't going to be good. You are in the learning stage. You don't have to show off to people with fancy edits, edited, overstimulated thumbnails, search engine optimization titles, keywords, tags, because the, the content, no offense, the content in your videos, if you're just starting out, and you have no experience, aren't going to be good. So that's why in this video, I'm going to get into the, you shouldn't, you shouldn't edit videos. I mean, trimming up clips is okay, but putting in captions and music and filters and transitions is unnecessary because realistically, the first couple videos you put out, nobody's going to see maximum five, 10, 15 views. If you put in a keyword like no fap, or productivity or self-improvement okay you maybe bump up your views a little bit but the point i'm trying to get at is that you will suck in the beginning and that the amount of videos you put out is more important than the quality of the video so it's not hard to post every day and that's the first thing you're going to do you're going to post every day making a self-improvement channel in the beginning all you need to do is record videos and get better at recording videos because that is the number one task. Think about it like this. If I were to give you, let's say you could only work for 30 minutes a day on your YouTube channel, what would you do? Would you really go searching up on Canva and designing your logo? and putting keywords in your fucking titles, and hiring an editor, and going on downloading DaVinci Resolve and editing for two hours just to get five views? Or would you just sit down and record? If you only had 30 minutes, you would eliminate all of the other factors like editing, optimization, tags, titles, thumbnails, and you would just go straight into getting your iPhone and recording videos. Another thing, and this is probably my second or third point right now, you don't need a fancy camera, a fancy microphone, good lighting. My setup, if I were to show you right now and turn my camera around, which I probably would, check it out. It's a lamp. And then I have my computer right here with some uh, key notes. That's pretty much it. And I set my phone up on a tripod, which I paid $10 for on Amazon because nothing in my house was suitable for my phone placement. But the thing is, guys... If you have a phone, which you do, you could upload 50 videos in the next month, in the next two months. You upload a video every day for two months is 60 videos. After 60 videos, remember, you're in the learning stage. So after 60 videos, you're going to be immensely better than if you had only upload 10 edited videos. You get what I mean? If you spent the time and downloaded the software and bought the camera and put in two hours of editing into every video you posted, just to end up with only 10 videos of experience in recording yourself, then you're not going to be a good YouTuber. Maybe a decent editor, a decent YouTuber with decent equipment, but you're not going to be a good YouTuber if you just edit and upload and you're not the main thing you need to focus on is just recording videos it's not hard post every day it's not hard you have an iphone you could do it there's no excuses to this guys and another thing is my fourth point there is no requirement or qualification that you have to have in order to teach other people on youtube about self-improvement you don't need to have like a jacked body or be on day 2000 of nofap or be making $10,000 a month in order to teach someone about money. You don't have to be on day 90 of NoFap to teach someone about NoFap. Or be having a jacked body with six-pack abs to be teaching people about gym advice. 
There are no requirements to this. You could have literally jacked off last night, and then the next day you upload a video about NoFap. There's no requirements. You just the people who you're the people who you are teaching, you are barely above their level. And that's good. Because if this is your audience and this is you, you could relate way more to your audience than if your audience were to watch videos with people up here. You don't need to have a certain qualification in order to make good self-improvement videos and you don't need requirements in order to teach people online how to do things and don't get that confused with speaking not from experience you need to speak from your experience that is how you create a connection with your viewer it's not like sometimes i would go on youtube and i would watch these self-improvement videos where guys would have a couple thousands of views couple thousand subscribers and all i'm hearing is just him reading off of a script and the clips being chopped up super fast so there's no pauses in between and there's overstimulation and fucking captions and background music and honestly i don't learn anything spectacular from those videos the videos where i really get educational education from are those long format one hour two hour hamza unedited unfiltered videos that he posts and these videos that i upload as well one take or maybe two takes if my phone dies or something random like that. But it's been six minutes and 42 seconds. I have like genuinely like five sentences worth of a script in front of me. And I'm just talking from experience because I've uploaded like 70 videos so far on YouTube. And I'm talking from me, my personal life so that you and me can connect. And it's not like I'm reading from a script. Only do the important tasks. Camera quality and logo doesn't matter. And the only thing you need to do is an iPhone to start. There are no excuses for your guys. Do not edit your videos because then you're taking away your attention from recording videos, which is the main thing. Record a video. Record a video. You don't need to edit them because you're gonna. the video is going to suck either way. Honestly, the video is going to suck. No matter how much you edit them. No matter how many the, what the title is, what the thumbnail looks like, your video is going to suck because it's your first video. Do not expect the first videos you put out on YouTube to be a success. Do not expect the first 100 videos you put out on YouTube to go viral and all of a sudden you're making $100 a day on YouTube passive income. You are in the learning phase, not the earning phase. Money comes later. And if your YouTube channel and what you talk about online, if you don't like what you are doing on YouTube, then you are going to quit way before the money comes in. This is a patient game. This isn't a get rich quick, bro. If you want money now, get a job. This is the slow process, learning, adapting, evolving type stuff. You know what I mean? If you want money quick, get a job. This is for the entrepreneurs that take it to another level and wait years, literally years, before they actually start making a decent amount of money because they understand this is a long process. And if you are tripping up on the beginning stages of this long process, aka if you are hyper-focused on the quality of your videos and how well they are edited in the first stage of your YouTube channel, then you're going to quit because that's just, your videos are going to suck. This is an unpopular opinion. You don't need subscribers. You don't want subscribers. Subscribers don't mean anything. People who have a million subscribers, <clears throat> people who have a, let's say, let people who have a thousand subscribers could be making $500 a month off of those thousand... They could be making $2,000 a month. I've watched a Hamza video like two or three years ago, or he uploaded the video two years ago, and he talks about how he had 1,000 subscribers, and on average, he was making $1,000 to $2,000 off of his 1,000 subscribers off of YouTube by 
selling his coaching calls and his courses and his workout plans and getting their email by sending them a free workout link and then running down through a funnel that he got from Dotcom Secrets, a book called Dotcom Secrets, which is actually what I'm reading right now. The subscribers doesn't matter because if you're like me, the main reason why you're putting out these YouTube videos is so that you could help people and they could eventually buy your courses and your secret memberships so that you can make some money off of the audience that you're building. So the subscribers don't matter because you could realistically make money if you have like one subscriber. Because if that one subscriber buys a $90 coaching call from you, then you're making money, am I right? So subscribers doesn't matter. You don't need subscribers. Stop sending the YouTube channel video links to your friends and asking them to like and subscribe and comment because that's not going to change anything. How is that going to change the amount of money in your bank account? How is the amount of subscribers going to correlate to the amount of money in your bank account? It doesn't. The amount of subscribers is just the amount of people that literally just hit the button on your profile. It doesn't mean anything. Subscribers, you could you could subscribe to someone and never watch their videos. Or buy your products. So you don't need to subscribe. What you need is fans. People who actually like you. People who will literally buy your products just because they were made by you. Those are fans. You need those people. And you can't get those people by reading off of a script. You need to genuinely sit down, talk from heart to heart on an iPhone. Get their email, read Dotcom Secrets, get into all that monetization. This was Marcus Blake. And this was my advice to self-improvement YouTubers. If you like this video, I would definitely recommend how... I stopped being productive. This video right here, it's a banger. I'll catch y'all boys later. Marcus Blake out.